My name is Kyle. I'm 37 years old. My name is Alyssa, and I'm 33 years old, and we're based out of Colorado. And, and this, this is, is Financial, Financial Audit. Audit. So what do you... Well, let's start with you. So this is this a married couple situation? Yes. yes. Confirm? Okay, yes. perfect. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Okay. So I'm mostly a stay-at-home mom, but I'm a disabled veteran, so... Oh, okay. Um, I get like disability for that. Yeah. What was your service? <laughs> um, Navy. Very cool. Uh, when did you do that? Uh, 2009 to 2014. Okay. Yeah. What is the amount that comes in through disability, at least at this time? 2,500, just over that. Hundred. And how many kids do you have? We have two. Okay. Very cool. What are their ages? Uh, seven and two. Ooh, one, one very young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Uh, avionics technician. Oh, interesting. That's definitely the first yeah. one we've had of that. I don't mean to throw you off, but I also have a, a business. So. Oh, okay. Well, that is different. That is different. Yeah. Well, first, what do, what do you make with this uh, this position? Uh, like 83000 a year. Very good. I wish it felt like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I need to... I was talking mm. to him about this. I like say comments that I just need to keep to myself. No, it's okay. I mean, no. I mean, if that's how it feels, then that's how it feels. What do you make from your business? Okay. The photography thing that we were talking about? Yeah. Oh, and okay. then I'm launching a second business so that I can make more money. But I do photography and then I make like, my goal is just to make 500 to 1,000 a month. What are you making on average? High months, low months, average? So I'm closed for like six months of the, the year. And then, but it's been five, 700 um, through the summer, like May, June, July. And then that should continue to August, so we'll September, 600. October. Yeah. And what's this other business going to be? Uh, uh, web design. I'm going to school for that, for UX and UI. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you getting a certification or are you going no, to No, I'm actually getting that? my bachelor's. So, okay. Very yeah. cool. What college? Or you don't have to say what college, but... It's uh, ASU. I'm not... It's online, so I'm not... Arizona, oh, Arizona <laughs> yeah. State? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen a lot of their online stuff. So, yeah. interesting. Why, why are you deciding to do that? Uh, cause I've always, so I've had a very long educational journey. I've been to like seven different <laughs> colleges. Mm -hmm. And so when I started this, when I started going to college, I was going for illustration and animation in California. And then we had to move. And then I continued illustration, hoping to move back to California. And then our kid got sick a lot. So I changed my degree when we got to Colorado to teaching and then it well, how long have you been in school nine million years um <laughs> but it's been like yeah so it's been like since 2014 how are you guys paying for school so the va oh and, uh, yeah. yeah so duh. but that's a great thing to take see, <laughs> no that but as sense. you'll see i took a bunch of student loans out to those supplement are yours? for all that yeah. oh, okay you don't have student loans we paid no. his off <laughs> uh, oh you guys have paid us off how much was that uh, I took 10 grand to do like a year at Fair State in Michigan before I joined the Navy. Hey, my home state. Very yes, nice. Sir. Very nice. Oh, okay. So, and then when did you guys pay that off? Uh, that was like last year. Uh, yeah. Like 2019. 20. So have we been. No, no, no. It's like 2021. Okay. Have we been trying to like get out of debt for a while then? Is that. So this was like a thing that happened last year getting out of that debt. Mm -hmm. What is this? What has this progress been looking like? slow it was yeah um and we did in 2020 this is gonna for some people some people might care about this but our dog got or got cancer mm -hmm. and then we took out like a ten thousand dollar loan to help pay for the chemo and then she still like passed away like a couple months ago I'm like sorry that sucks or like later my dogs are my life so yeah like, so I, yeah I totally get it uh no pet insurance no. no. And the, she was like, I don't know. She was like really healthy. She was only six. So, oh, but we didn't sucks. have, yeah. So she was, oh, I don't know. Uh, we thought about it, but we were still like not managing our money very well. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get it. And then we have another dog and we still don't have it, but that's because all of his stuff is preconditioned, like pre-existing. I honestly so. quite recommend it still, even though it might be a little more expensive with some preconditioned stuff. Like I've saved thousands and thousands of dollars with my dogs. Really? Yeah. With pet insurance. Absolutely. Cause dogs always get into some bull. Yeah. They're always getting sick. And then you you want to make sure they're good cause they can't communicate it well with you. So it's true. It's, I did hear though that they might not cover cancer as well. Like to do. Chemo maybe I stuff. honestly don't know off yeah. the top of my head. It might be just worth looking into different providers yeah. and, 
seeing if there's even tears and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, okay. So that's cool that you're getting a d- degree now. I mean, of course we can always, it makes sense for you to get your degree, especially because it's covered Yeah. Uh, with your service and everything like that. I was talking about getting certifications. I really like certifications for working in the tech field. Yeah. Like things like course careers and stuff like that. But, um, I think what you're doing definitely makes sense because it's covered and it's totally good if that's what you want to do. That's totally yeah. fine. College just takes such a long time. Which <laughs> I only do like two classes. Well, it's so like gonna four total. It's going to, I'll be done like January or the winter semester of 2026, which is okay. rough. Yeah. But I have gotten like some of those courses to expedite some of this where I don't, I know a lot of code. But mm-hmm. I'm going to use some of the platforms that don't need code. And because I'm in the niche of photography, a lot of photographers need w- websites. And I already have, like, a network of people to do websites for. So I'm... So that's the path you guys got, you want to go down. That, one thing that's a bummer with that is you're just delaying any potential additional income. And there is a lot of debt here. Yeah. And- all the spending that you guys do. We'll get into that. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous to be completely honest, but it's true. The extra income would at least help regardless of cutting back spending or not. But for another three years, you're still in. So, so here's, there's a caveat to that. Though. Okay. We get a housing allowance as well. Oh yeah. So, yeah. um, and I'm trying to help him go like, we're trying to get him into college and he would get yeah. more because you? he could go in yeah. person. Why? <laughs> Dude, you make $83,000 a year. <laughs> Americans, I have, I'm not against college degrees. I just swear Americans are obsessed with them. <laughs> but he also gets his degree for free. But why do you want, because are, are you going to cut back your income while you're going to college though? No. No, no. So you'll we're be working full to. time yeah. and then doing yeah. two courses. It's two t- courses for how long? Uh, million. but yeah so for what like what do you mean for what degree or yeah. how long, uh engineer um uh, aerospace engineering okay is that gonna be like a master's no type of situation no it's just a bachelor's and he shouldn't need to get his master's because he has so many years it's like 12 years of experience i was gonna say you already have the experience why do you need a degree um it's the next step up okay so what right now go to on average like what uh, i think you'd be at like a hundred or more probably take a dip initially but then it has more so like i'm at the top end of what i do now and then to go to the next step have to take a dip down to start and then have more growth potential i disagree with you <laughs> i think he'll start at the same as what he makes now I mean, and then go up but, from there hmm. but he's he unless his boss quits he can't make any regression now really yeah okay well again <laughs> I, I'm certainly not against it. This is like we have already such a situation. Yeah. I would rather at this moment, just because of this, all those years that you're going to be spending two classes a week or, you know, two classes a semester doing, mm-hmm. that you're almost doing even like a second job on the side yeah. to try to cut this down. He's this been trying pile. to convince me to get that he wants to get a part time job. And I was like, well, if you're going to do that, you should just work on your degree then instead because you'll get 1200 more income right now yes i know that we obviously need to cut back and that would make a huge difference so it's gonna be a thing we'll get into it so what got us to this place where are we now what's your what's this what's the financial situation because i know it's rough but from your guys' perspective where are we and what happened Jeez. Okay. So <laughs> like, what didn't born, happen? <laughs> <and> then... <laughs> okay. Um, so, where do we want to start? I think we should start with me because I'm I'm the biggest problem. Well, I just mean like in in the span of this whole thing, where do we want to start? I think like, we have different ideas of where this started. I would say at the beginning of our relationship. <laughs> Okay. All right. How long have you guys? Uh, we've been when married was that? for ten, and then we we're we've been together for like what eleven or twelve. Yeah, wow, that's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. This is <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. No. I. You should let me like <laughs> go ahead. Go, yeah, go, go, go. Okay. It. So I was raised with parents that just like had thousands of dollars in credit card debt, and we lived like a middle class, like upper middle class <laughs> lifestyle. Yeah. Classic and American family. Yeah. And there was, like, a lot of trauma and stuff around money. Mm. And I think that for me, I just, like, 
money is not going to have value in my life because I didn't want it to like, I, I will say this is all subconscious stuff. I'm sure. dealing, I, like I'm coming to terms with this is how I got to be the way that I am with money. And cause I've been doing like some financial stuff on the side or whatever. Um, but my care about what I was going to do with money was very little. And I never even really thought about it. And I just would, blow through it and so then when we got married we didn't even have our money together and I was like blowing all of my money really? <laughs> yeah so so we'll let us into the debt so then when I started going to school in California I guess I I was still old enough that I could have known better but when I started taking the student loans when I was going to school my school was covered yeah I didn't need to take that money, no. but I was pregnant at that time. And so when we would get some of that money back, that helped us with like childcare and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So to facilitate me going to school. So that's where it started. And in California, where I was going, they were giving me a lot. Okay. Just bad spending from the start. Um, and then, so she was doing all that and it was like what 2015 yeah so um she got a new subaru outback and then i wanted that, that was like december of 14 and then i'm like i was dumb right and i'm like i want a new car right <laughs> so i traded in my truck for uh like it was still used a dodge caravan and i like planned it all out and i'm like okay money's gonna be super tight this year but i can make it work Right. Mm -hmm. And then also at that time, we were constantly fighting about a wedding ring. You ask what high yield savings account I use, and that is SoFi's high yield savings account. The rate recently went up to 4.5%, and I'm taking advantage of that high rate all day. And with bonuses all the way up to $250 when signing up and getting direct deposit, I mean, I had to take advantage of that, and so can you. So check out my affiliate link in the description below. It's the one I use, and you can use it as well. Um, so Why? <laughs> I had gotten divorced, and then we got together. Okay. Yeah, I was like, so, oh, and I was real not. Uh, this is getting a lot deeper than I thought it would. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want this <laughs> in there. Okay, well, well, <laughs> well does figure, it impact me, your finances? I mean, yeah. But uh, how does this start? I just, but anyway, to me, so, the wedding ring is so far away. So <laughs> I, uh, I spent money I didn't have on the wedding ring. Mm -hmm. So like, December fourteen, I get the van. I calculate everything out. Uh, everything's tight. Then June or no, January, like the first quarter of 15, we start arguing about the ring. We get the ring. Um, and then right after the ring, ring is like seven grand, right? Does that sound right? No, I think it was like five. Okay. Five, Still, five grand for the <laughs> ring. Then, um, we find out we're pregnant right after mm -hmm. the ring. Uh, Whoopsie and baby. that's, yeah. 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 Classic. Uh, I was one. Was, <laughs> I was told that I couldn't get pregnant like at this oh, time. And that's definitely a whoopsie. Yeah. So that was surprise. Like, yeah. And we had actually talked about separating so that I could go to school and like whether or not our relationship was going to like work out. It was okay. like, yeah. So I don't know if like that's great to put in here, but like if anybody relates to that, I feel like sure. they don't feel as alone, you know? So, so, how, but, how, yeah. so then, so that. <laughs> year was really tight yeah big purchase pregnant and then it was just that's when the credit card started racking up yeah mm. so it probably got maxed out in that like mm. in maybe two years yeah in those I two see. years and then it's just why were you guys riding. living just well beyond three. your means yes like what were we Constantly. choosing to spend on what was our priority um we had no budget. Yeah. And we our money no was budget. separate, so I don't think yeah. either of what us. What was your guys' knew what thoughts on the on. credit card? Like was it just like infinite an infinite money card or yeah. kind of. Yeah. yeah. It was just like whenever there wasn't money in the account and we needed money and like just spend. What has your relationship been together when it comes to finances? Conversation around it, communication? No. Uh, don't talk, it's don't argue about it. <laughs> it's been yeah. improving, uh, I would say. And I feel like that's why has fair. it been improving and when did just it start? because it's like we now we like have to we like we have to get it together like we obviously want to give up better how did that initiate though when did you guys decide okay it's time to start like actually doing this as a partnership i realized how crappy i was being like <laughs> spending our money like that and so i just paid off one of our loans and because it was like 
it was like the last end of our dogs like came alone. Yeah. And I was just like, I'm just going to pay this part off. And that really kind of, and that was like the beginning of last year, mm-hmm. I think. And then, um, oh, sorry. And then uh, I started paying off or we started, sorry, that threw me off. <laughs> But we, I did that and then that's kind of snowballed and it motivated him to kind of, Mm. instead of us just sitting doing minimum payment, minimum payment. And then now we've been in the position where we can't move out of our two bedroom apartment. Right now? Yeah. Why? Because we just, we can't afford it. No. You might be able to if you didn't do the thing that we're going to talk about. So. We haven't gotten there yet. This we actually, before we got on the show, um, we were going to get into a bigger house. That was going to kind of force our hand to do better, but it's $3,000 a month. Work like that. I don't yeah. even would, would that really force your hand? I mean, you guys have living, we've been living well beyond your means forever anyway. How is true. living beyond your means even more going to all of a sudden make us not live beyond our means? <laughs> Fear. Okay, so has the communication started? Do we sit down? Do we have a budget? No budget. We, yeah. Why no budget? <laughs> so we have a constant problem trying to make time for this stuff uh-huh. with our kids. Our, yeah. We're in, I'm like talking said, an hour once a month. Yeah. And we genuinely struggle. Like our two kids are like screaming, yelling at us. Like, and, but we're in that apartment. They don't have yeah. anywhere to go. I mean, I assume and, they go to sleep. I mean, yeah, but he wakes up at like, yeah, I have to get up super early. So he's I up at like three. three. Uh, if I'm, it ranges it, between like nine and 11. What time do the kids go to bed? Like nine Midnight? and 11. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are hard to put down, but they are getting more on like a regular. It's hard because we're coming when off. When do they summer. go down? When do they like go down? Nine. When I go to nine? sleep. Yeah. Okay. Can you stay up for an extra hour one time a month? Yes. Yeah. There we go. Budget solved. <laughs> okay. It's as easy as that. Budgets aren't incredibly difficult. And cur- okay. The first couple times it actually might take a little longer, but once you guys get in the groove of things going through, especially because we're going to like cut the amount of purchases you do by like 90% because they're all bullshit. Okay. It'll be easy to go yeah. through the statements. Going through this statement, I mean, um, yeah, that would take you guys a while. Do you guys even want to cut back? Do you even care about cutting back? Because yes. I know you've been uh, you've been watching the show for a bit. But with the debt that we have and the spending you guys have been just doing, which I know I keep talking about it without actually going into it yet, but it's like, it's a back do you guys and give forth. a shit? It's a back and forth. So, like, um, one of us tries and the other one isn't on board, mm. then it's like, what am I doing? Have we so, thought about couples counseling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've done it before, yeah. um, but that was like pre-COVID. And then okay. we have to find a better counselor. And yeah, like yeah I mean, you got to find the one that time. works for you. And yeah. maybe one who can speak on the finance aspect of things, if that's one of the major things that we're trying to you know, tackle. I mean, if yeah. there's other things that, have, that doesn't pertain to this show, but you know, when it comes to the financial things that's going to be very important to have someone in your corner who can at yeah. least help with that. So the debt in general, the first thing on my list here is a, basically it started with a $20,000 credit card. Mm-hmm. That's insane. How'd you get to this? That was 2015, 2016. Oh, I'm trying to pay this thing off. Well, since then, because the credit limit's only 19,900, mm-hmm. you were at the credit limit like last month. Yes. So have we really been trying to pay this off for years? I no. feel like I heard that. No. no. So we started with the snowball a couple of years ago or whatever. And, but when you, when we, okay, he got separated, um, kind of unexpectedly. He still got an honorable discharge, but it you kind were also of, serving. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. We met in the Navy. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Um, but when we had to go, we had to go, we panicked and we moved to Michigan with his parents and we lived I'm with sorry them. For the winters. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bugs I don't like during summer. <laughs> okay. But um, we, I don't think we'd been talking about making progress on the credit card, but then when we moved there, we started putting a bunch of stuff on the credit yeah, card. We were just in survival mode. Yeah, we were in survival mode. But why have we not made any progress to this at all is what I'm asking over the course of years. <sighs> years since we started uh, this maxed out. We went into survival mode and we never came out, but survival mode... What's survival we, mode? Eating out well, every it, second of our yeah, lives? Yeah. How's that survival mode? I'm exactly. very confused on that. That's what I was just going to say. We have different ideas of what 
survival mode is. Yeah, we are very on different pages, but I know that he's correct, if that makes sense. What's your survival mode then? It's an important thing to address. Yeah. Mine? I don't know. I don't think I have a definition of that. If there's money, spend it. Is it... Is, that, oh, it's that? It's not like laziness or lack of discipline. It's okay. more of just if it's there, we go. I mean, That's those a are little the harsh, same thing, I feel like. But I will say, but it's only harsh in the last couple months. Like, no, I mean, I'm no better. Like, so, I, I will do the exact same thing if you're not on board. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I start doing it for a little while, and then I'm like, I'm doing this by myself, and that sucks. Like, yeah. watching you have fun. You know what I mean? Or, you know, whatever. True. We it's don't have real fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> we have. Yeah, it's Mickey D's. Or whatever. Right. Right. Like, oh, Coping yeah. fun. Yeah. It's yeah. like, you I have it's... to eat, so I'm going to make my food fun, uh, which yeah. doesn't I mean, you know, it's help you anyway. good and fatty and salty. And yeah. 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 That kind of stuff. Yeah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> but uh, you said if we have money to spend, we don't have money to spend. Because one, it was maxed out. Two, money to spend isn't like, this isn't your money. This yeah. is money that you owe at a... 13%. Uh, variable, higher. sir, it went up. It's almost 15% now. Yeah, You're losing $230.72 a month on interest with fees, fees of death of $13.57. You've paid almost $2,000 of interest this this year year so far. We're not even through the year. We're not even to Q4 of this year. And total fees this year so far has been just over $100 as well. Absolutely disgusting. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you put it like that, yes. But why, again, this is like... Okay, so the, the fake survival mode has stopped. I'm glad I didn't see anything purchased here. (laughs) <laughs> this was literally the first time you guys went below being maxed out, as far as I can tell. Where were we before this? Why haven't you guys done anything? What is going to... What? I just need to make sure that when we're going into this conversation, we're not. it's not pointless. So yeah. there's little debts before this one. So this one has not been a priority. Right. That, you did because, say that. I'm sorry. So there's been the, the dog got sick. Yeah. That was, what, 17? Hundred or seven? What, what? It was like ten thousand. Like of, it was like seventeen hundred. Well, I think we took out seventeen hundred to, to for the treatment and to put her down. I think total we took out seventeen hundred for the dog, and that I don't was, have that long. I don't have what was that twenty that anymore. I don't know. Was that twenty twenty? Because it's gone, right? Yeah, it's twenty. Yeah, twenty yeah, twenty. Yeah, yes. yeah. And, and then, then I'm sure there's been. I mean, we paid off. Both of our cars are paid off. We've had cars before this that were financed. So we've had debts that we've been paying on and paid off. And then this one's just been so big that it's Mm -hmm. lasted this long. Yeah. And then we had to take out new mini loans, as I call them. Oh, those are the worst. Yeah. But that, I mean, obviously, if we wouldn't have been spending the way that we were, we wouldn't have had to do that. But when he... He has to take, or he used to have to take furlough, which is where he wouldn't get paid for two weeks. And then we wouldn't have money to cover everything. Well, we'd, you, we'd try to take it in April to have our tax refund cover it. Yes. And um, then but that's we went to Michigan. That's still <laughs> and use that just us living paycheck to paycheck. And that's really yeah. why we're here. We want to stop doing that. You can't say that. that cause if you're considering taking out microloans, don't hit the subscribe button. Instead, that's a better coping mechanism than taking out. Micro loans, things. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have another. Oh, these, these are these the micro loans with Navy <laughs> Fed. Sorry. The three the three thousand dollar loans, not three thousand dollar. Just three. Which I see one? remaining balances of six twenty three. But yes, those are the so. most recent round of micro loans. Round. Yeah. yeah. What? When did you take? When did you take these out? Round. Uh, uh, every two years we take them out. When was that? Uh, January. When did it start? January. I don't know if that's true, but that's what it feels like. Yeah, January, and then I think we took one out in April. So I know you said the reason why one of the rounds was taken out and everything, but why do we feel like we keep getting in the situation where we're taking out microloans as soon as the last round of microloans were paid off? Food. Do you think that's why? I no. feel like I don't know. Not why. grocery food, to be clear. Yeah. No, no. So we see Mickey D's, we can't afford it, so we take out a micro Malone. Is no, that what you mean? No, no. <laughs> um, it's more that like, oh, I think my 
It'll be like a <sighs> surprise purchase. And then yeah, so I think sudden, my, my outlook no has money. been like where I take too much money is I'm like, oh, the kid's birthday is coming up. And then I'm like, oh, we don't, ha we didn't I plan for and, this. So oh. then you take money. I'm like, oh, we need to spend money for that. So I spend money that hasn't been budgeted properly for this party. And then and so you'll actually like see, I don't do parties a lot. There's two Amazon purchases that are for two parties that I threw in the last two months. And like, if I would have budgeted for them, that wouldn't have been a thing. Yeah, we but, can budget. I mean, these are all, I mean, they're all at 11.19%. So there's not even close to good interest rates. No. Not even close. And then, yeah, so 623 balance on one with a $43 minimum monthly payment, 428 on another with a $94 minimum monthly payment. Uh, oh, let me make sure that's true. Yeah, but it looks like you paid a little more on that. And then, a 797 balance with a $89.64 minimum monthly payment. So when these are paid off, are we going to take a micro loan again? Hopefully not. We shouldn't have to. Your income is strong. I know you live in a pretty expensive area, but your income is strong. One thing that I kind of want to get into and I'll let you think about now. I'm curious about your you and what you do for a living and like potential indecisiveness around that since we've been in school forever, but we've never accomplished finishing a degree. Mm. So I, I want to talk about that. Uh, so feel free to start thinking about that if you want to, Okay. because I think that could be an important part of the future. You yeah. know, you are the young one of the relationship, but I don't want you to be in your mid thirties and forties. And we still don't have a clear path yeah. of what we're trying to do job wise. So I'm ready. Good. <laughs> These are student loans. Some are subsidized, some are unsubsidized. Can't see the interest rates here. Yeah. They probably range from mid fours to seven percent ish. Yeah. Maybe like a couple I said, low eights, I was trying to figure fours. it out, but with them all being. Those are all but they're loans. restarting like very soon. It's yeah, it's like, September 1st. Yeah, it's. Yeah. It's I'm still deferred. Oh, that is an additional reason. Because you're still in school? I'm, yeah, there's another reason why oh, yeah, I've been true. going to school is to defer our loans until that's we're done with That's a terrible reason that. to go to school. <laughs> terrible reason. I think it's one thing, of the it, reasons. But... Okay. Well, I guess we don't have to include that minimum monthly payment then because it will be deferred. And you're not adding loans, right? No. No, I'm just taking my Pell Grant and walking away. <laughs> we yeah. have some additional collections as well in the debt before we go into the checking account. So Ooh. collections, 16566 Yeah. They're all almost seven years old? All? Yeah. They all fall off in 2026. Or 2025. Is that, yeah. Because I stopped paying them all in 2018. I did try to work with the creditor and all that, but it. Uh, 566 credit score. It just. Didn't it? I feel like it was lower. It just bombed, didn't it? I don't know. What? Your credit score? We were trying to oh, get a mortgage for a stuff. house. And then when I applied to get the, the other house, it, I think it took it down. How much did it drop? I don't know. Needs now attention. I'm, Absolute resolutions. INV. Is I, that what was in I have no idea what that is. Oh, well. Um, I don't know. So the thing I'm it confused is, about. Is. Okay. Because it's been bought and sold so many times. Is that why you don't know? Yeah. yeah. It was 12 U.S. National Association was the original creditor. So you would rather wait to have this fall off. Yeah. Because we know we're not in the position to get a house. For at least another like two years, That's so. Huh? No. no. Says it was open February twenty seventh, twenty twenty three. Uh I no, so I it's from the, the first. It's the first payment from like the time you know, like they put the huh? charge off. Okay, so you made a payment? No, 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 I didn't make a payment. Oh. <laughs> so f from the first time you have a charge off, it's like seven years from there. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know why it says that. Yeah, I was going to say because this says if that's February 27, true, 2023. What about that's, that company? That means it just renewed. And if that's true, I'm going to have to figure that out. But TransUnion said that all listed all the dates that they fall off. That's why I wanted that paper, but mm. I can't. Okay. Well, we can go off of that because you got that exactly from TransUnion. Yeah. 
And this is Credit Karma. So I trust that. Okay. Then we'll pretend it doesn't exist for now. Okay. Now, just to get your perspective on it, just curious. A lot of people are going to say there's a moral thing of yeah. paying it off. And then there's going to be a lot of people who say, just wait for it to fall off. Yeah. You're waiting for it to fall off. That's the way you're going about it. Yeah. We Why? did. I looked into bankruptcy and like at that time we weren't having the same kind of income and paying a lawyer for bankruptcy is like $3,000. And then we moved from Michigan to Colorado and Plus the student loans, which is the biggest debt wouldn't have been. Yeah. And I was trying to negotiate with the creditor. Like I talked to them and we're paying, I was paying them regularly. When, when, when? Um, 2019 to 2020, but it didn't like renew the. That's, um, feeling a bit weird on that. Cause that's, Mm. I mean, you might want to check with some other credit bureaus as well. I all of them pretty much. Well, TransUnion's the only one that gives me a date of when that stuff is supposed to fall off. Because mm, activity on it, in and that's twenty. That's only three years. Yeah, ago, but it's from the first, the initial charge off, not the payments that happen after that. No, but that's the activity on your account. I think that's why one of them, at least, is falling off later. It's like how much later. Like July of... And what do you mean by one? I think it's been consolidated into one, at least on that credit report. So that that's I what I, it's confusing Dude, to me because there was stuff. like three. There's something, there is something going on and I'm trying to figure it out. Have you pulled your free, your annual free credit and report? And that's what I did. And I think that when I, I think it's on my computer and not because typically I save to my iCloud and it's not there. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, to be honest. Activity on there, yeah, that, that can just, completely throw off the process. Yeah, and then I don't know what that was talking about with the February date. Yeah, and it's all in one collection. I got a letter, so that might have come from that. I well, you get a letter every time they sell the debt, yeah. and then it's like you're Which being sued. <laughs> you're being sued, so it might have just been that they're like, we've purchased this now, and. That might be what that update is. Have they taken any legal action other than just like, hey, we're suing you type thing? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. I think you're just going to have to do a little more internal investigation on your own with the credit bureaus themselves. Yeah. And see what's actually up. This might have to be included in your overall debt process. It might not have to be. You might be able to follow the plan you're wanting to do. Yeah. You know, obviously, people. some people will morally agree with it. Some people will morally disagree with it. I'm torn. It's, I always struggle with that one. Uh, but I think that you might have to pay as well like yeah. if there was activity on it so we're just gonna have to see because now all of a sudden we have three different pieces of information yeah we have what you saw from transunion we have what we just saw from credit karma and then you also just said you made payments on them in 2020 yeah which was three years ago so i don't know but this is the account this is the this is what i call you the fuck you account because there's really no excuse to be holding on to a 16% interest rate and student loans, even though they're in deferment right now, and even having the micro loans, the micro loans could have been paid off easily within a single month with your guys' income. In here, $13,000 went out or went in. But guess what? Out of your spending, okay, 24% went, 24 went to housing and the housing stipend would end up covering that, right? Um, yeah. Wait, what? Your uh, VA payment covers rent. My disability covers rent. That's what I mean. The stipend comes. He's talking about school. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. yeah. How does that okay. come in? Okay. So it comes in that comes like. And goes out. It's prorated though. So it's really inconsistent. I yeah. should have. Oh, I forgot that thing. Okay. Either way, this is what really called me out. Groceries is 2.8 of your spending. 2.8. Eating out when we have these stupid things. These stupid things was 30% of your income. 28.4%. 24.8%. 25% of our income is eating out. Is that what 28.4% is eating out. Does that match housing? It's more than housing. Housing was 24.6. You're spending more <laughs> eating out than you spend on housing. Okay. How are we smiling at this right now? Uh, it's, it's embarrassment. That makes me feel disgusted. 
it's embarrassment. Shopping that was not necessary is 4.3%. Subscriptions, 1.2%. Nothing crazy. A little bit in education, 2.7%. Savings, only 1.6%. Debt payments was only 9%. Our subscriptions is only 1 yeah, because you guys do have. Uh, well, this is like we have everything. This isn't a percentage of your income. This is a percentage of your spending. Okay, spending okay. pie. So I mean, subscriptions are going to be a low thing when you go and spend basically three thousand dollars eating out, which is what that was, and then an additional five hundred dollars basically of unnecessary shopping. And then Walmart, Target, Amazon. We don't know one hundred percent what those are because those would be groceries. They could be. Well, it's twenty percent. Or another two thousand dollars. Thing spent across those categories. It's probably about fifty percent of your spending. Is this just one month? This is your most recent statements. Okay, cool. Okay. All what's the wait? Is that combined. Three, how many days was that? Ninety days, sixty days. That's thirty days. Thirty days. Twenty-eight days. That is so bad. Okay. No, it's absolutely terrible, and it's something that should honestly. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Yeah, it should. Okay, I don't want you to feel shame or embarrassed, but I would definitely understand those emotions happening. And oh, also included in that unknown shopping were a bunch of Apple things because I think you guys do Apple Pay potentially a lot, uh, or do you do just it, buy yeah. things with them? Yeah. So, what do you think the majority of Apple Pay is going to? <laughs> is it you know? Yeah. Okay, so fast food's now probably being extended from thirty percent to forty percent of your spending. In that case, yeah, because okay. we have eating out, eating out, eating out, Panera Bread. Some some design thing, some jugs. Oh, so Barra, maybe McDonald's loaf and jug, zelling out money, Hulu subscription, domains, paying for some domains, and Chick Fil A. Is the domains for your business? Yeah. Put that in your business, so you can write that off. Well, yeah, so you can at least. Take so this is the second year. The first year we went. Mm. We basically, I zeroed out. <laughs> so, because I invested all of my, like, we put money towards my business, like buying the okay, camera, sure. buying a new laptop, all that stuff. And so I didn't move everything that I should have into the business account. Yeah, it's time to move that now. And uh, Chick fil A, there's some more business stuff with the Adobe stock and IHOP and Bagel Stop, Good Times Drive Through, Little Caesars, selling out money, Wendy's, some. Potential taquitos, hard to tell. Dairy Queen, Bagel Shop, Eating Out, Netflix, Special Olympics something, PayPal, TikTok, Fuzzy Taco Shop, Bagel Stop. Pre What's this prepaid funding thing? Because it pops in constantly. Some it's NFC. A prepaid card for her. Oh, yeah. So I have a kitty card. Kitty card? <laughs> so he fills it when I ask him for money. Where do you spend that? Eating out, probably. Uh, gas, yes. usually. It's usually gas. It's not usually food. We I use the Apple Pay for the food. Okay, it's a mix. Panera Bread, Door Dashing, McDonald's. Ninety dollars of Door Dashing, McDonald's. McDonald's of ninety dollars. Oh, Door Dash. That was me. There's no way. <laughs> My that goodness. Was me. Yeah. Sending her money for gas. Sending her money for gas. Amazon. And this will go on for a while because you guys, is, by the way, this is eating out like three or four times a day or just something. This is insane. This yeah. is like every meal. Have you got, when's the last time you possibly cooked? When was the last time a meal was prepared in the house? Last week. Bulls. I did. <laughs> what? Was it warming up some old Mickey D's? <laughs> Shouldn't Having have. some domains, yeah. some sending her money, gas, ba or uh, Little Caesars, Bagel Shop, Chick Fil A, Amazon, Amazon, Chick Fil A, donuts. It's all fast food too. Yeah. So, <laughs> paying out money, getting some taquitos, eating out, taking express tolls. Like we don't, we have debt to pay off right now. Why is this even a part of the conversation? Why are we taking express tolls? Some convenience thing, drive-in, Chick-fil-A, Panera Bread, Chick-fil-A, Squarespace stuff you probably need to put in your business thing, Eating Out, Stars, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Amazon, Bagel Shop Express, Toll Again, Amazon, Show It, Chick-fil-A, some dub thing, Eating Out, Chick-fil-A, uh, some restaurant, Portfolio, Finno, whatever, Bagel Stop, Amazon, sending her money, sending her money, sending her money, withdrawing from the ATM, who knows where $23.25 went, 
uh, some restaurant, Unravel, Dunkin', Patreon. You guys need to be funding paying off your debt, not someone's Patreon. Eating Out, Canva, uh, Show You Sushi, Audible. Again, there's ways we can... Audible's great. I love Audible. They respond to once. I personally use Audible. Listen to audiobooks other places. Go to the library. Come on. Panera Bread. Amazon. <sighs> Chick-fil-A. Your annual subscription to Costco. Amazon Bagel Stop. Freddy's. Amazon Wing Stop. Public Storage. Wendy's. Eating Out. Stacy's Nuts. Chick-fil-A. The Period. King Scoop, Amazon, Quiz Lip, Eating Out, Eating Out, Burger King, Dairy Queen, Eating Out, Eating Out, Bagel, I have Chick-fil-A, giving her money, giving her money, McDonald's, Amazon, Amazon, Drive Through, Amazon, Panera, Amazon, Sushi, Wingstop, What the Foe, Amazon, Bagel Stop, Amazon, Cafe, Chick-fil-A, Amazon, Amazon, McDonald's, Apple, Salt and Stone, Murdoch's Ranch and Home. So this is 30 days. Yes. Yeah, yes. 28. So 28. And Kindle, it's Jimmy John's, Firehouse, Subs, The Hook, Bagel Stop, Panera, Portillo's, some Adobe products. Again, just you need to organize. Eating Out, Instant Ink, Dairy Queen, M, Sarah, and something. And Eating Out, Chick-fil-A, More Audible, Fuzzy's Taco Shop. Taking more express tolls. Show it. King Scoopers. Some Colorado Dream, Colorado Dream. Party. Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A. Party Store, Amazon, Stonegate Cafe. Some music. Hiya Health. Eating Out, Qdoba. Eating Out. Dude, this is just insane. Some convention thing, potentially. Compart convention. Some Google stuff. Store. Oh, guys. We transfer Amsterdam, another restaurant, Amazon, Olive Garden, McDonald's. Like, come on. I'm almost, this is taking forever. And I hate reading all this, but you guys need to just understand the point of just how much you guys actually do. This is like disgusting, like actually disgusting. Oh, McDonald's picks it, another uh, convenience store, Chick fil A. Mile high, mid journey. Again, if that's for the business, put it in the business. Yeah, there's several of those things that Wendy's, were business. Wendy's, Apple, Chick Fil A, Del Taco, Mile High again. <sighs> sending her money. Stacy's nuts. Firehouse. What is sending Stacey's her money. Nut? Yeah, I don't know what Stacy's nuts is either. <laughs> oh, good. I do know what that is. And Life something LLC. That's terrible. It is terrible. You guys, what's your what's your investment situation now? What's your retirement portfolio? Zero. Zero. Zero across the board? Yes. So you're in a position with two kids. You're entering your 40s. You're entering your mid-30s. You have zero dollars in retirement fund. We have debt stacked up, which means we can't even start contributing to retirement. And we are choosing to eat out three times a day and a lot of other bullshit. Instead of taking care of our debt, get into a place where we can invest. Where this situation leads down is these irresponsible decisions lead to a point where your kids are going to be morally forced to take care of you. Yeah. Because you chose fast food over your own future. You actually had an episode that like, I don't remember which one it was, but that was what one of the ones that's like in the last two months that like struck that so hard is that I don't want to do that to them. You can't. You're being you're making irresponsible decisions. Yeah. You are choosing immature behavior of eating fast food over your future, over your child's future. Do you have a college fund set up? Yes. Yes. How much? Uh there should be seven thousand in uh and then we well just opened so that Very good. Now, of course, that's not something anyone's forced to do. It's not something anyone has to do, but that's good. So that's good. I'm glad, again, that's not something someone's forced to do or necessarily needs to do. It's up to the individual and how mm -hmm. they want to do college. But I'm glad you guys were at least able to do that. So we were able to do something. Now, oh, this is the balance of that one sheet. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Okay, so there's nothing else. What's in, what's in savings? Do we have a savings? No savings. No. You want a tissue? $41. <laughs> want a tissue? Sure. 
Forty-one dollars in savings. Yeah. Zero. It's essentially zero. Yeah. Uh, Forty-one zero. is eventually going <laughs> to come <laughs> over to the checking. It's true. That's probably a reason why. Oh, for the safety, reason. for the safety. This isn't just about you guys anymore. For the safety of the two kids. Yeah. We have chosen fast food over even just having enough savings on the side to make sure that the household su- could survive for a month if yeah. something bad happened. Yeah. We've chosen fast food over that. That can no longer be an option. It's a disaster waiting to happen. One person gets hurt in some way. And I'm glad there's some disability from your military experience that could, but that's certainly not going to cover what was spent here. Not even yeah. close. This is a scary situation, and it's all being led by immature choices and lack of discipline. Yeah. This is the time to buckle down. Are you guys actually ready to give a single sh- about your future? Yeah. <laughs> this is a bad habit to break because a lot of the fast food things, and I get this for myself, a lot of that has some very addictive qualities. Yeah. Fatty, salty, sweet, whatever it is. Stopping that's hard, regardless of the financial situation. Yeah. I'm have you- uh I have ADHD and I don't I just started Vivans, which is for like binge eating but i don't necessarily binge eat i just crave the same foods over and over and over again and i have a lot of that too yeah and it's just like spicy food specifically really (laughs) yeah and apparently places (laughs) yeah um but you can get dopamine from spicy foods and i think that's where my snowball hit but what's been what's been worse is that he our kids have been out for school and now they just started up for school. And then he's also been going out. That wasn't always the case. Um, well, the other yeah. one's going to start daycare. Soon. The other one's starting daycare? Yeah, um, which is going to be covered by that housing allowance I get from school. you are going to work, right? I'm doing school during that time. That money All I get day, from school, every day? it's only three days a week. Then you are going to work. I don't know. What what am I? I mean, what am I missing here? <laughs> well, I'm just. I, I feel mean, like there's five more days. my job, because I t- more days. Huh? yeah, because I I take that whole hours. Like so, when they have you do the math for how many hours you're gonna spend, it's like three times the amount of credits, or like six times mm-hmm. the amount of credits. And how many credits? Right. So I'm only taking nine. But it takes up that That's whole time. It takes up all the time that I have for him to be in daycare. And then nine's I work not around nothing. Nine's that. Not nothing. I thought it was going to be like three or four. Nine's mm, not, no. nine's not yeah, insignificant. Nine, nine's what we have to do to get the housing allowance. Okay. Nine's not yeah. insignificant. What, what is that? Three classes? Yeah. Well, actually, I two. Two to two. three. Yeah, I two do, to yeah. three. It just varies. Yeah. But right now it's only two. And then I have three coming up. Okay. So. That's not insignificant. So that's okay. Um. But that but housing. It's still, with nine credits a semester, it's going to still take you an additional three years to graduate? Did you not it's have many more than credits that. that could transfer? So um, ASU was super stingy, and there was definitely, yeah, like, at least three class, money. class, or at least probably four classes they could have not made me take. <laughs> See, again, I am not anti-college, but that is disgusting. The way colleges go about this, you had to do that. And now you're spending so much time that could be going paying off debt for, again, something you don't even 100% need a degree in in order mm-hmm. to do. You said you already know how to do it. You just want the piece of paper to go with it. And you are going to learn more. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. There's lots of world experiences that can be learned in college, especially when people go off to college. So I'm not anti-college. This is lay out all the negative things that we've already just seen through your guys' college experience. It's just like, yeah. my goodness. And yet, we're still doing it for so many years to come. Now I just want to finish. It's yeah, like, I bet. I bet. Um, we did discuss briefly on the way here um, that, like, maybe I should get a job through someone like Google or whatever, like, they have an internship oh, through okay. ASU, oh, and then sure. I might even do like work with a big company before I'm like officially in my own. Because my goal is only to, to make like three to five k on my own with my disability. That's like a pretty solid amount to bring home myself. And is that's two thousand five hundred. What comes home? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then the housing allowance from the school is variable, but that's mostly allocated to daycare. 
So, because that's what it... Is daycare fully covered? Yeah. Okay, from that? Yeah. Okay, so we need to start creating a budget. Housing, I have 2479 Cross utilities and rent. Does that sound about right? Yes. Household, what's coming in? Uh, if you guys want to do household, that's fine. What is the household income that is going to be coming in? 6900 conservatively. Okay. Even with her business post 30% taxes? The business is inconsistent. Uh, it's inconsistent. It is inconsistent, so it's not. Then we'll just, whenever you get extra money, we'll just use That's that to, to make the process go quicker. We just won't include it right now. But, yeah, as we know, for your spending, your housing was 24%. For your income. I think we were largely way more. Because you were getting so such higher payments, we were like, "Oh, we're just gonna spend more." Like blowing it was like, the overtime, you mean? Yeah, we yeah. blew this shows this overtime. This shows that we're overspending. Just these percentages, because what your housing's uh, about to be thirty six percent of your income. Thirty six percent of your income is housing, but of your overall spending, only twenty five percent of it went to housing. Yeah. That's showing how much over we are spending right now. Are we surprised yeah. we're taking out microloans when we need to? Not anymore. Are we surprised at that? Subscriptions. YouTube. You can have YouTube. Um, uh, Squarespace, put that in your business thing. Don't need that. Okay, Costco, annual charge, fine. Canceling stars. Canceling Netflix. There's nothing on there anyway. Canva, that's business, right? Yeah. So put that in your business. I will allow you to dedicate $10 of subscriptions a month. You can either let that be your YouTube premium or Amazon Music, but that's it. $10 that's of subscriptions. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, that covered. It's the, the, not kids. Your business. It's the not kids, your business. though. What, for Amazon <laughs> Music? Yeah, well, not. Okay, I would get rid of that. Like, that's, that's no problem. Already. Okay, but like, they Netflix and like Disney Plus. It's like the ones I want to. <laughs> and then they have some games that are like. What am on YouTube Kids, dude? <laughs> Okay, so Netflix. Choose one, Disney Plus or Netflix. That's tough. Tough to you, dude. I'm giving you guys $20 a month for subscriptions. You guys uh, distribute that however much, however you decide to do it. Groceries. Okay, so we have a four-person household, me and two kids. This is not like uh, diapers or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is just groceries. I've been wondering how you calculate yeah. that because this one's been hard for us. Yeah. Well, this, this one's going to take some figuring out on your own. I give my best guess of what we can do by restricting, not restricting health, but by just being very smart with our meal planning. Yeah. And like, you know, lots of pre-prepared and everything like that. Um, but it, it, every budget's going to be adjusted just a little. This is just giving a plan knowing where we can get to in a certain amount of time. Yeah. One of the hardest things that I struggle with with meal planning and cooking this is actually one of the reasons why i don't do it is that after about an hour of standing i'm in so much pain like the rest of the day Mm -hmm. and the following day so i have to better coordinate how i do this stuff yeah you can also just sit in the kitchen as well and just bring a chair i try that i have to do like a rotation and it gets really like it's an, well, do whatever you need to do. Yeah, do whatever you need to do. Help. It's a better. It's you not. Know. It's not a good enough excuse. It just. just do it's it's definitely one of the reasons. Even an why hour. I, I, I don't think you'd be cooking for an hour every single day. Well, for meal prep, that's situation. why I was like. I know, but meal prep that's like yeah, kind of a one time thing. And hopefully you guys can tag team and you can do your rotation thing. Mm-hmm. That's your shit. Either way, thousand hours for the household. It's yeah. a food budget on a monthly basis. Yeah, thousand hours grocery okay. shopping. Okay. Grocery shopping, which by the way. Is about a third of what you ate out. So we committed to stop going to the grocery store and not eating it. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, toilet paper spending. This is makeup. This is for the kids. This is whatever's needed to keep the household running. Two hundred fifty dollars. How much do we spend on that? You have a better idea than me. Like paper towels, diapers. That would cover wipes. us for a month. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and not like the crappy diaper. <laughs> no. Not okay. 
No, we're not getting anything that is... This doesn't mean we're getting things that are unhealthy. This doesn't mean we're getting anything that's dangerous, nothing like that. We're just being very intentional about our yeah. prepping and getting things in bulk. You know, one month we get the supply for three months of something, and the next month we get the supply of three months for something else, you know. So there's going to be some overlaps, but, you know, diapers... We stock up maybe one month, but you already have leftover paper towel from a few months ago. Then the next month, paper towel runs out, but you still have diapers, so you stock up on the next few months of paper towels. You know, whatever needs yeah. to be done in that. We're just very, this is where you guys meet. We sit down for like an hour once a month, and we just plan. We just plan of what did we do next last month, and how do we adjust for this month in order to hit our goals. Do you recommend doing that at the beginning or the end? Well, at the, at whatever it's works for better. you guys. Just uh, so. I, right at the beginning of a month, I guess that makes sense. Uh, uh, in my mind, I was seeing end, but yeah, beginning of the month makes sense. You review the previous month and what you're doing to adjust for this next okay. one. So like last day of the month or something like that, or the first day of the next one. Gas for transportation, we got about 430. Does that feel average? Tolls do not count anymore. So... I don't think that grows back That seems not, high. That seems high, but yeah. we were driving a lot. Well, what I, do you think is going to be average for gas? I'd say just under three hundred is my guess, because okay. I'm fifty. We'll say three hundred every tank. Okay. Car insurances all, both car insurances. Yes, we have them. How much? <laughs> uh, I think it's like one seventy nine. I think for it's both in the yes. Wow, very nice. I think it's in the statement. Very nice. Uh, phone bill. Yeah, ours is. It's like what one seventy four. Oh. Um. Yes. <laughs> Do you want me to look? <laughs> yeah, I can look. Uh, one seventy four is fine. Okay. I'll just assume it's right around there. And I th any other minimum monthly payments that you guys are forced to deal with. Internet. Oh, okay. So you didn't. That didn't sound like it was included in that housing number. What's your internet? Uh, 90. It wasn't in the 2400? No. Okay. Oh, that gosh. 2400 is just our rent and then all the bullshit charges they put on our Ah, rent. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry if I can't. Love swear. those. You can. Okay. No, you just be you. Um, I'll just be me. And then electricity. Oh, okay. Yeah. So utilities. It's like 250. Anything else that is required for our survival that we are currently paying? There was 1.2% of medical health care. Maybe that was some vet stuff. Is that like an ongoing thing? No. Um, that's co-payments. Oh. Is, that, is this ongoing? Um, no. They're just like when they go to the doctor, it's like 20 bucks. So. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, it is ongoing. Well, we need to budget for it. But, but did that include Roscoe's thing? No. It's like health care. No, I know. But he said vet stuff as well. It may have but, been. I, I don't know. But yeah, uh, there was vets. Or, oh, there oh. was, but it's not ongoing. Um, for the dog, no. no. But yeah, okay. Co-pays for health insurance and then pet food. Yeah, is, so that's in your that's groceries. A, yeah. Oh gosh, it's like too it's expensive. expensive. <laughs> okay, well, that again, we, we don't can't get do anything. <laughs> we don't get anything. Uh. It's his his pre his pre existing condition. So pet food two hundred. Just cut back on your groceries if you can. I'm giving you $200 for couples therapy. Hopefully it's less. Do it like once a month even. Yeah. So just talk about the financial side and then whatever, you know, if there's anything else. And then last but not least, pet insurance to save you guys thousands of dollars on the line. I'm going to say 50 bucks might be a little less. Okay. Might be around there. Mine's less, but yeah. That's your budget. Anything else? Mm, kid stuff. <laughs> do How we much clothing do we get to pay for budget like and debt stuff? And because... Stuff. Uh, the best, well, the best what? thing is like, because he's got to get new uniforms and then he has like fun run stuff. He has stuff always. <laughs> so I feel like 50 okay. is reasonable for yeah. that okay. stuff. Because we do have to pay for his school lunches and stuff too. But that he actually qualified for free lunches. So that was, but do I want to. I need to put in him. the budget school lunches beyond that 50? No, don't. No, don't. It's only yeah. Only okay, so fun. that's the budget. Yeah, agreed? Yeah. Agreed. That's the budget we're sticking to. We're not spending a single cent outside of these categories going forward. Okay. Ever. Mm -hmm. Well, eventually, but not now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, guys, come on. 5,242 is what's needed to survive. That's way too much money. That's terrible. That's way too much money. Is it 90 or 80? 
huh? of, that's like that's, 90 of that's our about household. To be, yeah, it's about to be f- whatever it is. It's 75, 76% of your income it goes to your needs. It's really bad. Yes. Oh, no. You guys, from the categories I said, that's the maximum you guys can spend or else we're not making progress. What I would try to do is cut back, cut back on these categories as much as you can. We have a thousand. Six hundred fifty-eight dollars left on a monthly basis. Thousand six hundred fifty-eight. What are we gonna do? Because I need you. You have nothing in savings. I need you guys at minimum to have a one-month emergency fund because you have kids. Yeah. I normally want people with kids to have a two-month emergency fund before they get started on their debts. Is that? Did you say it was uh, the two months of like all of our? Of what you need to survive in my limited budget. Limited okay. budget. For three months, just over three months, you guys are setting that entire $1,658 aside. Mm-hmm. Something like, again, the, so, the I use SoFi High Yield Savings because it's really good. But whatever High Yield Savings you want to use, you let it sit there. That is your thing. We do that for three months. Three months because you don't spend a single cent or out of this budget. What about the monthly minimums? Takes us down to like a thousand. This is why we didn't move into another house. No, yeah, that would have been a terrible That's idea. That's the least of our concerns. I, uh, yeah, you're right. In well, the budget, it's in been the budget. Really, I mean, this is actually a thing. Financially, the least of our concerns. Yeah. Mental yeah. health. Mental wise. health. It's been really bad. Couples so. therapy. I, oh, not. It's it's about. Personal. I've been with the kids and. I get overstimulated and they have nowhere to go all the time. Even when I'm taking them out, they're still like Is there a kids park have in the complex. Unle- no, they have a they have There's a, a bed pit with some rocks. With, yeah. <laughs> um, but we go down to the park and we do stuff. It's just and we go on walks or whatever. But it's not enough. They don't have their own space really, and they don't get to go to a yard or whatever. And. Mm-hmm. They're okay, wild. your needs is now 85% of your income now because you're right, the debt minimum monthly payments, which I forgot to put in. My bad. Are we recording? So this starts becoming yes. just absolutely. Sorry. Oh, you're good. $1,012 is left over. Just to, we're just going to say 1000 just because you never know. $12 rounding error, basically. Oh, sh- okay, so. What we're doing for six months now is saving up a one-month emergency fund. That's like our base level before we can even start doing anything. Oh, God. Six months. That's why I'm sorry. It sucks. It sucks for both of you. I think you're pausing this going to school thing for a moment. A moment. I want you to get it. I want you to get it. I want you to cash flow it. We can do it. I think... I'm sorry to interrupt, but her argument for me going to school is that it can probably bring in more money. Yes, but you said it's going to take how many years? No, not um, like uh, I get paid to go to school. You do? Yeah. Okay. I did not have that housing allowance from going to school. So even together, you. What's the housing allowance going to be? You said it's variable, but it's twelve hundred. He'll have twelve hundred more consistently than I would, and I twelve hundred. You should be able to. You, how many hours a week do you work right now? 40. The problem is is that well, his credits right are going to be 5 six, and 3. 60 hours. But which is, yeah, it'll go to 40. You have to have at least 6 credit hours to get the housing allowance. And because it's engineering, all the you credits get, are like 5. You have to have 9 credits to get. No, uh, no it's 6. It's something okay, when, it's been six, doing this sorry. for forever. You get 1,600. When can you start you this? Six. When can you start this? Spring. Spring semester. Spring semester. Okay. Okay, it's spring January. semester at the January. January. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what you're doing till then, then what I'm going to need you to do, work another 15 hours a week. Sorry, won't we'll be able to see him as much and do that. And then when your kids are in daycare and you're not in class, you'll do homework when the kids go to bed because you're staying up late because you guys are going to be tired. You're going to be tired. <laughs> Me already doing that. <laughs> you're going to be very tired and you're going to be drinking double the amount of coffee that is from home and not at anywhere else. Yeah. I want to take a brief moment to thank today's video sponsor, Aura. Are you sick and tired, just like me and everyone else, honestly, of receiving endless spam calls every day? I mean, look at this. Let let me open my phone. Look at this. This right here is all spam. It's crap, except for one friend. There's one friend phone call. 
The rest is spam. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live. But with Aura, they can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to. But they make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle that for you. Aura also does a lot more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You can get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other things with peace of mind. Go to Aura.com forward slash hammer or check out the link at the top of the description below. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this episode. You are going to get a part-time job as well. Even just an extra 10 hours a week. 10 hours a week. You know, two shifts, two five-hour shifts. I don't even know what to do, to what do be you honest. Mean? Like, How coffee would we shop. make that work with Make sandwiches at Jimmy John's. Yeah, I don't know. Huh? Oh, so she I, only just, has three I, days I literally of cannot care. stand for that long. At this moment, I'm actually yeah. petitioning for a higher disability amount. You had someone on here that uh-huh. said something about working with a co- company yeah. to get more, and oh, I don't know if it was a, he was a lucky guy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, look into it. Sure. So, but that's neither here nor there. No, but, look into it. Um, I can consistently get money if I'm like. If I do logos and stuff, because I'm an illustrator. Just work so. your ass yeah. off again. What I need you guys to do before you start your spring semester, and I need you to have the one-month emergency fund, but we don't have six months to get there. We have, like, what, four? Mm-hmm. So I need you guys to cut it by two. Yeah. And that's why bringing in more money. So whatever you guys need to do, whatever you decide to do, and that couples therapy and stuff like that, whatever, figure out the solution. You guys need to have a one-month emergency fund, which is 5888 which is insane, by the way. But that's what you guys need to have. By January. Okay. January, an extra 1200 is coming in, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. January, the first two months, you pay off both micro loans. No questions. Okay. That's done. They're gone. They don't exist. So you don't, we're not doing Avalanche the other way? Uh, both micro loans or th- there should be three? There should be three. They're all gone. Okay. Immediately. Okay. The first month of your semester. Okay. Okay. And then from there, because the housing allowance, Let's see, extra 1150 you have left now because minimum monthly payments. The reason we're doing snowballs because those debts are really small, but the minimum monthly payments are quite high. So if we can get that extra like 150 bucks, basically two, actually $200, that extra $200 essentially to throw towards debt, it's going to be a big thing. Seven months. Oh, okay. Seven months. Because every single penny goes to it. There's not a penny that goes towards anything else. It's not an option. Yeah. It's This is your future we're talking about here. Oh. Mm. We got to plan for gifts and stuff. No. Have to set. No, you don't. For the kids? I'm sorry. Put that in your $50 a month kid fund. All Put right. a couple things aside on a monthly right. basis and save up a few hundred by not shopping for other things. I get it. It sucks. But I promise what is worth more than just one lackluster Christmas is them not having to fund their parents' retirements, them being able to go to school debt-free, them being able to live one of them their entire childhood, essentially, and the other one their second half of childhood, being able to go on amazing vacations and do all the things, these things because you guys sacrificed for a single year. A single year. One year. A year. Huh? It's a year? A year. We're not considering the student loan. Am I what about the student loan? Am I what? They're on deferral. <laughs> Trust me, yeah. we'll attack them at some point. But what you guys need to do from there is save up for another prop with your income. Uh, it's going to be hard. Maybe a full other year for a six-month emergency fund because you guys just need to have that. Now, what happens at that point is I need you to start minimum investing probably 30% of your income and 25% of your income on a monthly basis. Once the student loans resume... Uh, after the deferment has stopped yeah. with your school situation. And again, you'll have a more powerful income because that's the whole point of you doing this thing anyway. Yeah. We're going to cut four months of the six-month emergency fund, throw that at all the high-interest student loans, and whatever is above 5% in the student loans, any loans above 5%, we're again working our butts off to pay all those off, and we'll probably pause in retirement temporarily, except for the matches at that point. I don't know when that's going to be because your school could last, like, who knows. So... And then after you pay off anything above 5%, we're again saving up aggressively, going back to these a crazy budget like this, mm-hmm. aggressively 
uh, a six month emergency fund, and then you're getting back to your 30% retirement, 25% retirement. And it's mm-hmm. a household income, so just consider it like 27.5% household okay. money is going to retirement. Okay. It is re- irresponsible of me, but I like never really considered retirement because I get that pension, like I get that medical disability. Yeah, which is going to be helpful, but you never know what the future of the federal government is going to look yeah, like. Yeah, and the economy might be. Well, uh, just yeah. in terms of taxes and spending yeah. and debt, I don't want to rely on the federal government for your income yeah. going forward. Even though I don't think anyone's going to strip that out of all the spending things because I think there would be a lot of outrage. Yeah. It's still not something. I want you guys to be able to rely on yourselves versus relying on a program, essentially. Yeah. And then definitely not relying on your kids. So this is this is complicated. This is complicated. What I prescribe you immediately is this budget. And then also, as I put in the budget... Just one session, at least one session a month with a couple of therapists that you guys vibe with. That you yeah. guys vibe with maybe one who's able to talk about finance things quite well. Uh, and they're able to go into that conversation and let them know about this experience and where you guys want to get to. But you guys, with your incomes and what your income household income is going to be, you can still retire with probably like two million bucks. You just got to sacrifice now. Yeah. And then you got to really ramp that investing up. Right now, to be clear, we are heading down a path of just not being able to retire and working until you guys drop. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad and scary, and it's because you're choosing to spend 50% of your income, 40% eating out because we discovered those Apple things, and then 50 to 60% of your income on bullshit because who knows what the Target, Walmart, Amazon stuff is. So Mm -hmm. it's impossible to say you guys are just choosing to live immaturely right now. It's time we grow up. We act our ages. We talk, we budget together, and you guys have an amazing future together because it will be amazing if you sacrifice temporarily for a year to two years. Yeah. And then and then you said that that would be when we start the student loans. Student loans will start whenever the student loans start. Yeah. Okay. I need you guys investing after you have a six-month emergency fund, the micro loans and the Navy Federal are paid off. Okay. Once those are paid off and you have a six-month emergency fund, I need you, need you investing basically 30% of your income rounded up. Okay. And once the student loans... Resume, you're taking four months of your six-month emergency fund to put towards the high interest, then you're paying off the rest aggressively, then you're saving up the six-month emergency fund. Yeah. Again, any student loans that are under 5%, you can do minimum monthly payments until they're paid off because I need okay. you guys to catch up on investing. Okay. Okay. If, let's say, you're following the general stock market, fun fact, eight is a which is the return of the stock market up okay. and down historically, eight's a big, bigger number than five. So I choose eight okay. personally. Okay. okay. Any final thoughts? Mm. Is it sustainable? Does it feel sustainable? There might be have to be some time wise and budget wise because we're talking about. I think there'll be months that surprise us. Like, do you think be. we can do it? It's gonna be really hard, but I think so. Yeah. To be very clear from this side of the table, I will not accept you not being able to do it because there are people who come on here and have a 10-year road ahead of them to get out of debt and have an emergency fund. You guys have a two-year road, and then whatever happens with the student loans, I will not accept you guys not being able to do it Mm -hmm. because your guys' futures matter too much. Your children's futures matter too much, and don't prove to me for a single second that I care about your futures or their futures more than you do. Yeah. The sacrifice is worth it. It's going to be a pain in the that's where the counseling comes in. Have free fun. We can still have fun. We just don't spend money on it. <laughs> okay. It'll yeah. work. When's the follow-up? We'll stay in touch. You let us know any questions you have <laughs> along the way. And then when you feel like you've made enough progress or you're starting to fall behind again, you tell me. Okay. We'll meet. Okay. Okay. All right, for Kyle and Alyssa and their Hammer Financial Score, obviously it's, it's going to take a lot of sacrifice, but for now, spending in a budget, that was absolute, that was one of the most ridiculous months of spending I've ever seen. Zero out of ten debt. No IRS debt, no collections. It's going to be a one out of ten because it's still pretty hard. Merchants fund, there's nothing. Zero out of ten. Real estate, there's nothing. Zero out of ten. So really, I mean, I'm sorry, guys. That's going to round to a zero out of ten. Make sure to check out all the resources in the description below. I use them or either use them in a specific situation. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short YouTube Using a clip from this video, I'll send you $100. Post however many times you want, but you must tag my YouTube slash TikTok at. And put YouTube Caleb Hammer in the title slash description.